And uh, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Gamer Dude here. Welcoming you back to another episode of the Saga Lock. In this episode, I don't have the right settings. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, we had some changes to this team, y'all. And you'll see them in a minute. Boop. Yeah, so we are going to give you a team recap because I think y'all need it. Um, and we're going to see what what can learn because we added what to the team. So we have Code Various with Innards Out, Baneful Bunker, Dazzling Gleam, Dazzling Wing, Dazzling Gleam, Dazzling Gleam, Judgment, Oblivion Wing, Satan with Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Moon Geist Beam, and Dragon Pulse. Yay! With Heat Wave, Venishock, Sparkling Aria, and Principless Precipice Blades. Snugglebop with Leech Life, Acrobatics, Dragon Hammer, and Spore. Piduck with Bolt Tackle, Water Pulse, Scald, and Dazzling Gleam. And currently, we have what? With Psychic, Dream Eater, Cosmic Power, and Draco Meteor with Effect Spore as an ability. Freaking cannot believe that this thing's special attack is 244. Can you just say what? Like, honestly, 244, that's a lot. Um, I figured, you know what? At this rate, we're going to get through this uh, way faster than I anticipated. And that we're not going to be able to use what. And so, I chose to use what. Because it's what. So, say what is going to join the team. So, we're going to figure out what what can learn. Swift, that's not bad, actually. I might I might take him up on that. If if that's really, like, the only... Oh, no, Heat Wave. Okay, we'll take Heat Wave. What? Yeah, what can learn Heat Wave? Uh, buy uh, Dream Eater, personally. Cosmic Power could come in useful, so... And Dream Eater only works if a Pokemon is asleep, and we have no self-proc way to do that. Of course, I completely understand that, um, technically speaking... Oh, actually, I'm going to go Lava Flume instead of Heat Wave. Because Heat Wave has accuracy, a, a dip in accuracy, whereas the other one does not. So, quick little change. Anyways... So yeah, let's get through this. We got this. I believe in us. We have this, a totem, and Lusamine today. So it's kind of a, a bit. Kind of a bit that we have to do. Also, do we have anything for what? I don't know if we have anything item-wise. We have to have something item-wise for what, though. Like, oh, we have a Psychic Seed, which doesn't help us. Oh, Scope Lens. Here, you can have that. Or Wise Glasses. Actually, yeah, let's give you Wise Glasses. Give you special move boosts. Like, you need that. Um... And I honestly think we should lead him, because why not? It was either him or Piduck, and Piduck's overleveled. So, <laughs> let's be completely honest. It was either him or Piduck, Piduck's overleveled. So, we might as well just blitz through these three. We have a tough fight with Lusamine. That's why we're level 53. She's going to be ace 52 and a half. And she's a little bit scary, because, oh, I'm glad we have a move for that. But yeah, so basically, the thing with Lusamine, and the reason why, is because Lusamine has random total boost aura on everybody. So she could have, like, plus three everything, and we won't know about it. So that's why I added lovely what. Um, and also, wow, okay, Kabalion, why are you actually fast? Excuse me. Also, I just feel like what has this, like, Oko potential? He, it's got to. Delmize. Okay, we're fine. Honestly, I think Lava Plume is going to be a big deal for us. Because freaking our attack... I mean, I could, honestly, Lucky Egg. That might not be a bad idea. But I'm going to play it safe, honestly. Just, I mean, getting that extra 10 or 20... I think it's a 10%, because I think it's just Muscle Band, but special. So an extra 10% boost in damage is not bad, and I'm not going to complain about it. Also, hi. You're not specially defensive, so... Um, boop! This is literally what this is going to be. It's just, honestly, I wanted to indulge myself and use this Pokemon. And so, in doing so, it's going to cause some craziness to happen. A Rock and Steel type. Well, Piduck, get out here. I'm going to give Piduck the, the little nod. Piduck deserves this nod. A nod of approval for our Piduck, who is actually now getting super close to the front half of the team he is the new closest to that marker and honestly Piduck you deserve it because you've kind of just taken charge and Piduck literally has it's literally just decided I'm the new ringleader okay and nothing you can do or say is going to change that it's just like okay Piduck 
first off, what in the world are you thinking? And second off, I guess I don't have a choice <laughs> in the matter. Um, you're a physical... Oh, that is our one kind of weakness with this team build. We don't have anybody who's really a physical attacker except for Snugglebop. Uh, personally, that is the only thing that I would say that this team lacks is a solid special attacker. And you know, like I said, Snugglebop is a good Pokemon. I love Snugglebop. But I also love Snuggle Bob. So. Oh, shoot. That works for all terrains? Oh, gosh. Uh oh. Um, hey, uh, Garatina. You want to come out here real quick? And hopefully, this doesn't have Arena Trap. I did not realize that was for all terrains. Great job, Pyduck. Why do you make things challenging, Pyduck? Attack and defense spell. Pyduck it just has to make things even more challenging than they already were. It's fine, the Pyduck. We're minus one. Minus one defense. Minus two defense. It should be gone after this attack, though. It took three hits to kill a Snorlax. Four hits to kill a Snorlax. That is so... That's disgusting that a Garatina takes four hits of Dragon Pulse to kill a Garatina. Four Dragon Pulse... Garatina takes four Dragon Pulses to kill that thing. Insanity. Like, I get that Snorlax is a defensive, bulky, specially defensive Pokemon, but still, four... Like, if you told me that, I'd be like, girl, no. No way. No way, girl. That, that's not the case. That can't be the case. No, nope, it is. I was even higher level than it, too, which means it would probably actually take, like, uh, a straight up four at with, if the levels were straight up. Whew. Okay. Veteran Eric. Ferret. Okay. Well, Ferret's easy. I say that, but it's going to be, like, level 50 or something. Level 49. Okay, so they, yeah, these guys are all 49s. Which is why I trained up to 53. Was Lucy means, like I said, 52 and a half, which means she might be 53s across the board. And I didn't want to risk anything. Me risking things? What could never be me, honestly? Oh, first impression exists, John. This generation introduced it. It's fine. <laughs> Yay was the better choice there, but it's fine. Sableye. Speaking of better choices, um, gonna go with Quivarius. Quivarius is gonna take the rain. This team is just disgusting. Honestly, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this team. Like, I don't know what you guys are gonna do with this team, actually, is a better phrasing. Like, this team is so crazy. And yet, there is three episodes left, y'all. Three episodes left before the trouble, like, the, um, the next kill episode. Not only that. Ooh, was that garden? Uh, we don't have an ice, a mon with ice anymore, do we? I don't think we do. I don't think we do, so I'm just going to pretend as if we don't. And if we do, then that's my fault for not knowing my team. Even though we did a team recap, and I should know my team, but still. But yeah, so this is, that's honestly what's crazy about this, right? Is we're entering the final totem, and we're entering the final final like a lot of finale situation type things final totem legendary i think is also in this episode or in the scope of this episode it's it's insane and then we go through victory road in 158 um and then 159 is the elite four and then the choose my starter is probably gonna be the kill episode or if there's an episode of discrepancy, then 160 is Elite Four plus an extra, so an extra kill you guys get, and I don't, I don't, I don't want that. I'd rather the Elite Four you guys kill three, you pick one and then kill one. That would be the preferred. That's a lot of killing for you guys to do, but whatever. Y'all knew you were gonna get we, as soon as you guys saw our pacing. I'm sure y'all were like, oh gosh, 
This is not good. <laughs> no, it's not, but it's fine. But it's fine, but it's fine. Mewtwo's gonna take great care of you. Yeah, my Mega Mewtwo Y is gonna take such good care of me. It's fine. My Mega Mewtwo Y is definitely not broken and overpowered, but you know, it's fine. It's gonna die. It's gonna die because I think, of how, I think it's so broken and overpowered, let's be fair. I'm going to use it stupidly, and then the one of my deaths are going to be a mega freaking Mewtwo Y, because of course it would be. Um, my hope is that I don't, like, overuse it. Hi, Cliff Abel. I love the fact that you're here and you exist, but also, girl, I have a freaking um, no steel moves yet, girl. I haven't had steel moves the entire game. I was actually super half tempted in using freaking Clink for that, but I said, girl, no. Girl, what am I doing by doing that? What am I accomplishing? Absolutely nothing. Oh, hi. That's actually a Lapras kind of thing. No, it's Chestnut. Oh my gosh. Poor Chestnut. Poor freaking Chestnut, dude. Bye. Bye mm, bye. Have a good day, Chestnut. That's an Oko. Poor Chesnaw, dude. Chesnaw's like, I'm gone. I'm a goner. Yes, yes, Chesnaw. Yes, you are. And speaking of Pokemon that are going to be goners, hopefully this totem is easy. If this totem is easy, then it's more sailing. And I like sailing through things. Sailing moon. <laughs> come on, mo, 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 mo. Hi, come on, whoa. So, about sailing through things. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, Marshadow's like a direct counter to me, though. I am going to risk it for the biscuit. That worked. That should not have worked, but it worked. I should not have risked it for the biscuit, but it worked, and it's fine, and we have survived the totem effectively i was like we're fast we're pretty fast guys it's it's okay we should be okay we should be fine yeah shadow sneak or you know spectral thief or that is in this game too i didn't even think about it um yeah there was a bunch of things that could have killed us with the marsh shadow totem but you know, you know I, I, here's my thought process if we never added mewtwo that would have been an annoying fight that would have been an entire episode that, that fight would have been an entire episode though Getting through a Marshadow would be in a pain in the arse. So, very glad that we did what we did. Go ahead. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. You actually made it through that totem super easily. Uh, you did a fine job clearing it. <laughs> yeah, we have a Mega Mewtwo Y. It's fine. You did. She's like, here, let me waste some like, elixirs on you here. I'm quite sure that you two will work everything out that you need to. Let's go, Gwen. Okay. Okay. The power is emanating. I can feel it. Nebby's so happy. Oh, I'm glad Nebby's happy, but let's play them flutes. I'll play my clarinet beside it. No, I won't. But, like, I'm going to stand over here. You stand on the other side. Okay. We're going to stay six feet apart. Okay, Lily. It's fine, dude. Everything's okay. I understand. Let's play our flute, though. Blow the moon flute? Yes, of course. Dude, we have loot. Dude, we got through that. We <laughs> we got through that way too fast, dude. We have Lucamine, and then it's and then Gladian, maybe. Oh my gosh, we really are two episodes ahead of base. <laughs> I literally told Charizard, I was like, honestly, we're probably gonna get to here. That we're gonna get to how uh, by two sixty. Girl, what two fifty seven? And then we got Victory Road. If we make it through Gladion, the 258 is Victory Road. How in the absolute world did we manage this? I don't know. I truly don't know how we managed this. But we did. 
We manage this. Hi, Lunala. I know you're not going to be a Lunala anymore, and it's really sad. But, like, hi. I honestly want a Lunala. I would love a Lunala. Nebby, oh my gosh, you're all right. Please don't ever do that again. You made me worry so much. I never imagined the sounding of the flutes would give you so much power. Or let you evolve into a legendary Pokemon. Never did I ever come across the hint that you would evolve into a legendary Pokemon. Oh my gosh, I'm triggered. Please, Lunala. No. Nebby, please. I need you to see my mother. Or, see my mother? I thought it was... I, I probably read it as see and it's probably save my mother. So, woo, bah. Oh, it was C, because C into saving. Ultra space. Who's ready for a hentai monster? Uh, not me, honestly. How surprising it's more beautiful than I would have ever expected. But the air is so thick here, it almost starts to breathe. You're, you're right. Do you think the Ultra Beasts really are Pokemon? I really don't know what to call them anymore. Oh my gosh, we should we should go save Mother. Okay. What is it? Are you telling us that you have to stay here? I am so grateful for you bringing me here, Navi. Thank you. I guess I'll have to go the rest of the way myself. Oh, he's going away. Bye, Navi. Oh no, you are staying. I don't think there's an encounter here. We just get more cutscene potential. Hi, Guzma. Oh my goodness. Uh, Y'all are stupid for coming and saving me. I don't know how you got here, but here you are. This is a terrible place. It's all dark. I tried to catch one of those things, and I actually absolutely got murked. It possessed me. It was like some I became somebody else and I finally felt the, what fear feels like. It was terrifying. I may be Team Skull's boss, but I've never been scared of anybody and nobody before. That lady, she's on another level. She's way far gone. She's lost her mind to these Ultra Beasts. There's no talking her out, no reasoning with her. She's just gone. That doesn't change anything. I still have to go save her because I love her. I mean... Yeah, might as well stop the threat before she becomes even more of a crazy freaking threat. How bad is this about to be? If girl pops off and decides to have a plus three everything team, then I'm in trouble. Because this girl could pop off and just have a plus three everything team. And then S-H-I-T will H-I-T the F-A-N. But, you know, we are going in with full non-confidence because this is how we are. <laughs> that, <laughs> that has to go into John quotes. I'm sorry, but that, <laughs> that has to. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> Gotta give myself a little bit of credit there. Because that's literally me. I, going in, if I go into a state of confidence, I fail. It's just, it's over. It's done. But if I'm not confident about something and I'm worrying about something, then perfect. It's fine. I've got, got it. We got it on lockdown. It's, it's cool. It's chill. Like we, we're fine. And that's exactly what's gonna happen here. She's she, because I'm going in with absolutely no confidence. It means that we are gonna get like actually a W. This is what that means. Whaty. Recording. That's exactly what it means. I want to live here with all of these Nihilegos because they actually love, love me unlike you, Lily. 
Honestly, we just need to Karen slap her and everything will be okay. I'm the one who's sick of you. Children are not just things that belong to the parents. Pokemon are not just things that the trainer can do whatever they want with. I am alive. Cosmog is alive. We are not things for you to collect. We are not made for you just to discard when you're bored with us. It's a that is terrible, Mother. You are so terrible. Terrible me. How am I different from any other Pokemon trainer like your friend over there? What do you do with a Pokemon that you can't use? You remove it from the party as you please. They're freaking dead, Lucy. I mean, there's a difference. Death versus I don't like you anymore. Bye. Enough useless talk, Lily. I'll never forget you for, for, forgive you for stealing Cosmog from me. Never. Back when you were small, you would listen to everything I said without question for a time, even when you were adorable to me. But then you changed and became ugly ever since you met the girl Gwen. You learned to defy your own mother. Gwen, you hateful little trainer. How dare you intrude upon those, this world that has meant for that was meant for Nihiliko and I. It is not to be born. Inhale, with inhale, wow, I can't talk. I will show you how wrong you really are. Okay, Lucibine. You led with a Minun. Okay. It's Joy's, one of Joy's least favorite Pokemon. What have we gotten ourselves into? Oh! This Minun doesn't have an aura. Firstly. Does she... Did I get... There's no way I got that lucky. Because she's supposed to have an aura. Like, her Pokemon literally are supposed to have auras. I'm fine with that. You know what? If you want to have a if you want to have a pointless Minun, go for it. Have a pointless Minun. We can just say goodbye to it and uh, pretend it didn't exist, right? No, of course we can't. Oh, I guess we can because it's using Electrify, Electrify, which if you guys don't know, Electrify literally does nothing if I'm faster. Pointless Minun. Love it. Good start. Again, I said if I go in there with no confidence, then I don't have to worry. Metacham. Oh, look. It's a fighting type. Cool. I get to stay in. Okay, do you have a aura? No. Bye. Okay. Do they just not have auras in this? I thought they were supposed to have auras. I thought that was the point of this fight. Galele. Could be Mega. Keep battling. I have a fire move. Bro, what is this? Oh, it is Mega. You also don't have aura. Okay, I guess, I guess she doesn't have auras in a randomizer. Cool. Bye. Have a good one. Thank you for healing me if I get damaged. I really do appreciate it. It does help me so very much to not have to worry about that. And uh, bye. Um, yeah, that's three Okos. We love it. We stand it. We have it. Okay. Lucimine, you just give up now. Honestly. Swana? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry about that. That's, Swana's just like... I mean, it's a Swana. It's, I mean, it could actually live. So uh, good on it. Oh, this one actually has something. Swana actually is important. Or not. Oh, it's clear the grassy terrain. Okay. It's like, apparently, Swan is just not as important as I thought it was. Swan actually is going to live a hit, though. And it's going to hit pretty hard like a truck. I'm ready for uh, me to take a hit. But I won't, because apparently, Swan doesn't have the special defense it's supposed to have. Love it. Okay. That's by. Good job. Uh, what? You're doing everything you need to do. You have over 250 special attack. We stand it. We love it. We stand it. Fiona? Oh, you have the worst legendary. Okay. That's totally fine, too. Like, honestly. I'll just click Psychic and kill you right now. Honestly, it's just fine. It's 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 absolutely fine. You can you can love the fact that I'm killing you all you want to because apparently you're just gonna send in trash and have the worst possible trainer fight that you could have. Oh, Florgus. Oh, look, you're a fairy type. Hey, I got to use somebody other than freaking Mewtwo. Hey, yay! Do you want to come out here and actually destroy, destroy, destroy? I think you should, cause yay, you're killing it, girl. 
do this fight was actually nothing. This fight was actually legitimately nothing, and I don't know how to feel about that yet. <laughs> okay, look at that. Oh, you know what? I don't want to be put in my place just yet. But so far, I'm going to be. Do you have an aura? No, you don't. You're just a Florgus, and Florgus is annoying. Okay. I don't have anything again. It was it was more. I don't have much. Okay. Ugh. Okay. It's fine though. We have yay. Yay exists. <laughs> and we just wanted to geomancy again. Dazzling gleam. Okay. Ah! Wow. For plus two everything, girl. Girl, you're plus two everything. Or not plus two everything, but you're plus two in a lot of areas. Didn't even we didn't even use Pyduck at all. Then we have Gladion coming up as well, by the way. So that's I think we go to next, right? After catching No, we catch legendary, and then next episode is Yeah, wow, okay. Harsh attack drop. When Florgus is actually the biggest threat of the team. But it's literally only using Dazzling Gleam, because why not? Bye, Lucimine. And then we get healed, and then we fight, and then we end the episode. <laughs> yeah, so 258. Wow. I cannot believe I lost. Oh my gosh. It's almost like you sent out like four pointless mons to begin the fight. If you would have actually started with Florgus, things would have been a problem. Things would have been problematic real quick. But you decided that you wanted to lead with four pointless Pokemon, and that's not my problem. Boop. I was concerned, so I send it. <laughs> what and what do I find? But the legendary Pokemon, a strange hole in the sky, and uh, however, I'm very relieved that you all are unharmed. Can you pick up Lucimine? Okay, yeah, put her on this horse. You know, this horse will carry her down, and then I'll walk all the way down these stairs.
Okay, Hapu, you, you, you do that. You have fun walking your horse down a lot of these stairs. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but I'm lazy, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, legendary time. What are we going to get as our legendary? Also, we wasted our master ball on Zekrom, so I can't just use it in the episode. Because of course I couldn't. I don't think you want to be join my team, though. Um... Lunala because uh, I kind of have a full team and don't expect anything to die so that means you're just going to sit in the box but okay um, yeah that's totally fine definitely join the box into the box you go honestly why is it actually a really good Pokemon that I really like are you kidding me? Why are you level 57? D bruh. I'm triggered. I'm actually upset by- I'm not triggered, but I'm upset because I actually like this Pokemon a lot. And I don't have a uh, thing for it, so yay. We're gonna get close combated. Power Whip. Oh, that's kind of not bad at all. Okay. I'm fine with that. If you want to do that all day, go for it. I'm just going to Oblivion Wing. It's probably going to kill it, but it's fine. Oh, wait. Maybe I... It, it, please don't tell me this is like one of those scripted, you're forced to catch it situations. I hope it's not, but it might be. Counter. We'll find out if it's one of those scripted, you gotta catch it situations. Nope. Okay. Counter and Power Whip. I mean, I don't really want it. But, I mean, it's good backup fodder. But, like, how am I ever going to catch this thing? I'm not ever going to catch this thing. I'm just killing it. I'm sorry. Marshadow, you're not joining the team anyways. I'm just going to kill you to end the episode faster so I can hang out with my sister because I love her. That's that's what I'm doing, honestly. I'm just gonna kill it to end the episode faster because I want to hang out with my sister. So and I'm assuming you guys will see that as a fair plight. So hopefully y'all have a splendid rest of frick. You actually have to catch this. It's fine. In the next episode of this, we'll be meeting you guys at Gladion because I'm doing. I'm gonna do this on my own time. Because who really cares at this point? I'm not going to lose anything. Because we saw its moveset. It's Power Whip Counter. And two moves that like, are pretty pointless to Celesteela. So I just sit out here. Let Celesteela tag. And then try my hardest to catch it. And then I catch it. Without any casualties. So you guys know what's going to happen. So with that being said. I'm going to end this here. And hang out with my sister. Because I love her. And in the next episode, it's 258. We're going to get through Victory Road. And then 259, we're going to get through the Elite Four. And I cannot believe that we actually are going to do it. Crazy.